Yo, what's up guys and welcome to a brand new video on So Rare. So today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be covering how I'm trading in February because I kind of want to make this a monthly series showing you guys I guess the progression of my trading or just how my methods are changing month after month after month. So today what I'm going to be doing is talking you through everything I do trading wise daily, uh, talking about what I do in the morning if I'm not planning a trading during the day and you know how you can really make your, uh, your balance work for you. And then I'm going to show you guys me trading in the evening and just walk you through a few things like that. So first off, we're going to start off early in the morning. Uh, because I don't plan of, I guess, trading during the day, it's not because the, during the day is any worse. It's obviously, you know, like your people are probably watching, you might have uni, you might have work, you might have so on priorities during the day. So during the day, I do not do trading. But there is a, still a way to make your balance work for you. Because if you're not doing anything, well then, your balance is just going to sit there. But... If you're at least sending over some trade offers, if you win them, in theory, you're making money. So what I'm going to do is, so on my balance doesn't just sit there, so my balance can work for me, what we're going to do is we're going to go and send over some trade offers. Now, first off, you need to find out who you're going to trade off at. Now, it doesn't really matter who you trade off at, but um, I'll show you, I guess, how I how I source my players. So I source my players again, I just go on to the new auctions. I then go minimum price, uh, 5 euros. Maximum price 25 euros Now the reason for this is because I don't really want to be sending trade offers on you know the players are sort of 1 euro 2 euro 1 euro 50 Obviously if you're on a lower budget crazy but if you're on a higher budget It's just not really where the efficiency is the efficiency I find is on players from 5 to about 12 15 euros But we'll go up to 25 so what we're gonna do is just gonna go and scroll to the second page And what we're doing right here is nothing more than just sourcing players so, let's go and find ourselves a player then we're going to use. Let's go and use Dirk Albez. Albez. So what we need to do right now is find out how much does he sell for. So, how we're going to find out what he sells for is using so red data. So we're going to type in D-A-R-K-A-B-E-L-S. We're going to type his name in and he's going to go and pop up. Um, now what we're going to do is going to go look at the limited. We can look at weekly and then look at monthly if we want. So we're going to basically try and find out what is the average. Now the blue, you want to ignore. Blue is bids. Uh, people will way overpay on bids for the sake of affiliate cards. So please ignore the bids because no one is actually buying at that price from player to player. Only from the site to the player. So ignore the bids. What you're looking at is the purples, which are just straight up buy nails on the market. And the reds, which are trade offers. So in the last week, we're looking at about... 8 euros here, we're looking at 8 euros here, 8 euros here, we're seeing a dip down here down to 7 euros, again furthermore a dip down here to 7 euros, we've got one here at 9 euros 30, and if we open this up to the month rather than the uh, the last week, um, yeah we can see that uh, we can see that he's been 7 euros, but obviously all European football players are up as of the last you know week or two because of all of the European leagues being back after the winter break, so we can even see back here he's going for about 8 euros. So I think it'd be very fair to say that he's going for 8 euros. Now, my rule of thumb is you're trying to get players about 10% cheaper than what they're going for, or at least 1 euro. So, for example, if I think he's going to go for 8 euros, obviously that'd be 80 cent. But because I want my rule of thumb being at least 1 euros, we're going to go 7 euros. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go and send over some trade offers. Now, let's say you could, you know, you can go and send them on absolutely anything. You know, if, if you don't have much time to go and find players, literally just go and send them on. Even people who are trying to sell this for 20 euros. Because if they look into it, they'll go, well, you know, I'm trying to sell a 20 euro card here for 9 euros. Yeah, go on, then I'll go and take the uh, 7 euros. So what I do is I just open these all up in tabs and then go and send over an offer. He's obviously got the minimum on. Uh, I go and send over an offer, three seven in, confirm, have autofill, which just makes my life so much easier. And I'll do that one, then that one, then that one, then that one, then that one. And I'd say doing that, even again if you're going to get all part one denied, is still better than not doing anything. Because you're actually going to, you know, make your uh, make your balance work for you during the day, rather than just sitting there not getting you any deals. So that is what I do during the day. What we're going to do right now is show you what happens in the uh, afternoon when it comes to actual trading. Another tip of something I do in the morning is uh, the cards that are uh, setting on. So... What I'll do is any cards that are close to expiring, uh, maybe uh, let's say I listed the cards two days, uh, you know, the equivalent of two days ago, rather than letting the cards expire and then having to go and research what their price is again, if I just want to play it lazy, what I will literally do is I will just copy the price, I will cancel it, click on the card again, list, paste the price in, and this is way, way easier than letting the player expire, and then I have to head over to the database, then I have to go, all right, what was he going for again? 
and then I have to go and type in uh, the names and such. So I, this is another thing I do in the morning, is if I do need to relist a player, I will, before the player expires, so then again, I don't have to research what they're going for, I'll just copy, cancel the listing, click on the listing, paste the price, and therefore, boom, they're up for another two days, and I don't, don't have to worry about them expiring and just sitting in uh, on the gallery rather than selling on. So that's another thing I will do in the morning. So what we've gone and done is we've gone and used, uh, I think we had like 240 euros. Gone and used all that on uh, trade offers. If we end them, God knows, but uh, yeah. So it's better for ending trade offers rather than just having your money sitting around. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll be working, I guess, during the day. And then we'll uh, see you guys, I guess, over camping. What happened during the day in terms of trade offers, what we sold. Obviously, we're not gonna be buying anything. Uh, what trade offers we won. And then what we'll do is I'll show you how I do trading in the evening. So we're about seven, eight hours later, and as I done no trading, just let the cards I've sent offers on, I've either won them or not won them, and then just obviously had stuff selling in the background. Uh, we've got a few decent sells, uh, a few to uh, bring up as highlights. Uh, we'll start off here with uh, Toma Basic. Here we go, went and won him yesterday. Picked him up yesterday at uh, €12.92, and we're selling him today for €16.08. So nice over like €3.20 profit on him. We then go to the next card we uh, went and flipped, and that is a Oliver Demon. I actually bought a few Oliver Demons a while ago for um, for twenty odd, uh, which was a bit of a flop. But uh, that's right. I'm kind of waiting on a rebound on him. I think he's is he injured at the moment. Oh, he's suspended for a game because of disciplinary. There you go. He'll be back once that happens. Probably be five yellows. But um, there you go. Bought him at fifteen. Went and sold him there for seventeen. So another two euros uh, profit on him. And the final card we went and flipped is a really really nice flip here on uh, Walderman Anton. When I picked him up uh, a few days ago, about last week for 28 euros, we've got him flipped in today for, if we can find that one, for 34 euros 87. So a nice little, around about a 7 euro profit on him. So very, very happy with those flips. Uh, during the day, obviously, we sent over loads of trade offers. We haven't been too successful on the trade offers. We've only won four things during the day, but those are four things I would have won if I didn't go and send for 10, 20 minutes trying to win the deals. We start off right here with an Ezekiel. Uh, I think I showed him in the video even. Uh, if not, here is the Ezekiel. And the profit on him is looking... Picked him up here for €20.60. Uh, Plan to sell him for about €23.60. So it should be a €3 Euro profit on him. Which isn't too bad. Uh, then when I picked up two... What is this guy called? Uh, Frankie Winther. Lovely. Of uh, Osberg. And uh, we went and picked both of these up here for €8. Euros. Uh, Plan is going selling on for about nine euros. Both under, yeah, put them both up for eight euros. Plan is going to sell for nine euros. Nothing too crazy other than a one euro profit per card. And then we've uh, gone and picked up our last guy right here, which is Milios. Uh, can I pronounce his name right? Pantovic. There you go. And I'd say these are all just picked up during the day, like I showed earlier in the video. And uh, we went and picked up this guy for eight, 28 euros 30, uh, with the plan of at least selling him for 31 euros, around about 32 euros. Uh, with maybe a height of selling for 35, 36. I feel like that might be slightly ambitious because I believe they're playing Bayern Munich next game. Or at least, not this game, but the game after. Got uh, 197 to work, uh, 197 euros to work with. But because I'm going to be doing quite a lot of active trading right now, I, like I said earlier, whilst I'm not on the site, I don't mind having my cards locked up, coin, oh, sorry, my, my euros locked up in offers. Because, I mean, look, it paid off really well there. This guy might have listed him up for, like, 34. I went for an ambitious offer, and I managed to win it. But the cards that I didn't win, so it doesn't hold me back in not having uh, money to, you know, put in offers or to snipe deals, what I'm now going to proceed to do is going to go and cancel all of my offers. So what I can do to easily find these is look at open offers, and all I've got to do right now is just press cancel on each one of these. And what's going to happen is, obviously, I'm just going to start getting uh, my money back. Or, you know, my money's not going to be held pending in these offers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel all of these, see how much we can get, and then we'll probably start snipe, uh, doing a bit of sniping trading. Do a bit of sniping. Now how I snipe on here is I go set the prices. I put the minimum price to about 5 euros, or as close as I can get to that. We then go and put the uh, maximum buy now, and buy now, sorry. The maximum, I don't even know, that is, is basically what it is. Maximum buy now to 27 euros. And now I'm going to go and proceed to put this to ending soon. That's like under where my webcam is, right here. And what this is going to show me is it's going to show me, not all the ending soon, sorry, newly listed. This is going to show me all the cards or all the players that have just been listed between 5 euros to 27 euros. Now, what do we do with this? Well, what you can do is we're going to refresh the market and then when a new player pops up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and type the name in. So you need to do this as fast as possible. So this Aircon guy. Now, the guy we're looking at right here is 15 euros, but let's say he popped up for 5 euros. 
What we're going to do is we're going to try and get a gauge of the data. Now, I'll be honest with you, this guy is not looking too good to trade with because we can see he's had a recent rise and he's on a downwards. So, again, last thing we're going to do is catching a down, a falling knife. So, because, honestly, there's no hurry, I'd leave him. I just, we'll go to the next one. I don't, I don't like the trends on that guy. And because I don't like the trends, we'll just move to the next one. And we'll re redo it. And now the next guy is called Lee Ho J. So, this guy's worth 9 euros. Interesting. What's his trend? Now, again, I don't like that he's been dropping recently. He's been on a rise recently. I'll be honest, if I wanted to play this safe, I'd probably want to buy in at one of these prices here. So like seven euros fifty or eight euros fifty. Um, I'd probably presume I could sell him for about nine euros. Again, he's a bit of an awkward one. I'd pick him up for about seven euros fifty. That gives me a nice bit of leeway. Um, and then we'd go and sell him for like you know nine euros, and make one euro fifty profit. So what you do is we just proceed to keep him pressing, refresh, and if there's someone let's say quite close to the price, so. Let's say, for example, hopefully we can get a good example here. Go, yo, Han. There we go. This guy might be a perfect example. So this guy goes for about 14 euros. Now, the card right here is 14 euros. So I'm not going to go and buy him for 14 euros if I think I can sell him for 14 euros. But because he's, because I think I can sell him at 14 euros and he's quite close, what I might be able to get away with is a trade offer. You know, like, because this, you know, 12 euros for a card that's 14 euros isn't overly unreasonable. Um... And I say my accept, and then I can go and flip it for 14 euros. Because this guy's just listed the card, which means, one, I know he's active, so I'm likely to get a response off him pretty fast if he's either going to want me to have the card or not have the card. Likewise, he could just have, you know, I don't know if he, when he won this card, that like he did only win the card just today. But, um, he might be in a hurry to flip it if it's a reward or so on. First deal on the likes of Snipes, and that was a uh, 90 here at 12.13. Uh, obviously, recently transferred into the Serie A. Uh, looking at his sales, we've got a 14 there. We've got a 15.8 there. That was just yesterday. We had a 16, 16, 16. Obviously, this could have been back when he was playing in the uh, the Serie A. Sorry, back in the MLS over the Serie A. But uh, i say just yesterday, 15, yesterday, 14. So we're expecting to probably sell him for about 15.5. That should turn over a nice little €3.20 profit. But first deal of the day. 100 denied trade offers. Uh, we've managed to get ourselves some more deals. So we've managed to get ourselves a uh, Majid Ashimeru. For uh, 10 euros 50, we're going to be selling this for 12 euros. And the second card we've managed to pick up is a Ricky uh, Haroqua. We're going to pick it up for 16 euros 88. Going to probably try and push for uh, 20 euros. Uh, it won't be too bad. Nice little 7 euros 20 profit right there. But some more deals managed to get via the sniping and, well, trade offers here. Got some decent, decent little snipes and uh, trade offers as of recently. These two on snipes, this one on a trade offer. Uh, Jose Sar, quite happy with. So I'm going to the one week data. Here we go. Got Jose Sar right here at 21. He's had some recent sales at 23.3. Recent there at 23. Just even selling at 24 earlier today. Early in the week going on for about 26. And down there at 23. So about 20. I'm going to go for 24. Which is a nice little uh, 2 euro 90 profit on him. Uh, we then head to the next guy. Got a little snipe. Oh, I was quite happy about this little snipe actually. Uh, picked him up here at uh, 12.92. Obviously he seems to be on a bit of a recent rise. But uh, even if we can go and sell here at 15. You know we're still looking at a nice little 2 euro profit. But we'll go for about 15.5, uh, turning over to Euro 50 profit. Right, so we're going to run a Vito Mone and uh, Manone. And we want to run two Rocco Reacts, one on a Snipe and one on a Trade Offer. So let's go and show you what we've got here going on here. So we're going to start with the Manone. Got him picked him up for a humble 10 euros. Now he sold it even at 11 euros. <laughs> 11, you know, just the, um, I guess just the other day. Now, going off a presumption that we're not catching a Fallen Knife. Did he play the other week? He didn't even play the other week, so, I mean, that's, uh, you know, less of an incentive on why this would be only a temporary rise. But, basically, I feel comfortable because we've got him picked him up for 10. He's even selling for 10, you know, as long as a week and a bit ago. So, uh, should be pretty comfortable. We're going to go for probably about, I'm going to go probably go for a 12.50. It'd be the cheapest on the market and, uh, obviously, be turning over a nice little 2 euro 50. Now, going away with, uh, Roko Rietz, who's quite an interesting, uh, player. We go look at his uh, graph. Over the last month, he's definitely been on a rise. Obviously, well, I'm probably breaking into the starting 11 or so. On. As of recently, though, he's actually held value. He's just had no market sales. And this is a little bit of a worrying thing. But it's hopefully something we can capitalize on. Because one really, really important thing, which I didn't know about early on, is you can actually look at when cards didn't sell. So this is really useful because... In theory, he hasn't sold for one, two, three days. People haven't even bought him for three. I mean, even four days, I guess. So, it's a little bit worrying that people haven't bought him for four days. Um, again, there's no believed injury or no believed dropout of the squad. 
Again, we haven't really even seen a drop. It's more that he's just risen and started like plateauing as such. So what I've gone and done is I've gone and picked up one on a snipe. I've got an initial snipe for 1846. And then I went and followed it up and I was like, well, you know, there's no believed injury. If he's 23 euros, 22 euros, I think there was one this year for like 21 euros. So I thought, well, 520 euros and we can go and sell these for about 23, you know, 23.5 as such. We're going to turn over a nice little 3 euros, 3 euros 50 per card. So what I've done is got one for 18 euros 42. Hopefully going to sell that for 23 euros 50. That'll make a nice little 5 euro profit. And then this one here at 20 euros. Uh, and we should turn over a nice little 3 euro 50 profit. So some more deals from the uh, the players wearing the yellow kits. Well, Dutchies now. We've got ourselves a Giovanni Toupe and a Giovanni Toupe and a Nick Dudeman. Now, uh, we're a little bit worried at the moment that um, Giovanni Toupe maybe didn't hit the team. Because obviously he did play today. But there doesn't seem to be any news on him being injured. Although... Well, I for some reason found confidence. I was, I was looking up his injury report. What you can do quite nicely is you can just search your players' injuries. It sounds a bit cynical, but... And this guy's out for 84 days with a bruised knee. I, I never knew that a bruised knee could take you out for... What? What's that? Like a, a quarter of the season. But there you go. Maybe, again, very tender knees. He's a young young lad. But nonetheless, uh, pick them both up for about €8. Euros. Plan is to go and sell them for about €11.50. Euros You're going to turn over a €3.50 euros per card and a €7 euros combined. Uh, and also went and picked ourselves up this guy called Nick Dudman, uh, who picked up for a uh, 1950. So I actually picked him up for seven euros earlier, which would have been a nice little, uh, a nice little buy. Uh, at 1950, we've got nothing to worry about. We look at all the prices he was just last, uh, just a few days ago, and he was going for a solid. But uh, we're going to try and aim to go for about 22 euros. Uh, it's going to turn over about two euros twenty, so not bad. Um, but yeah, amongst those, another nine euros on those cards. So to end the day off, we've got ourselves three more deals. Uh, Jonathan De Santos, uh, Richie Delete, or Delat, and a Roman Bezus. So starting off with Richie Delat, pretty, pretty decent. We got him here at 24.8. Uh, nothing interesting happened in the game. I think um, I think he got a yellow card as such, but I don't believe he's suspended for the next game. So getting him there at 24, he plays again, I believe, next Saturday. Um, so obviously no midweek game. But... Uh, Previous prices looking at about 31, 32 with at least a 29. So we're only looking anywhere from about a 5, 6 euro profit on the likes of Richie Delat. Then heading down the way to the Santos, going to pick him up here at a 9. Uh, previously, 9.7. Uh, had a 10 right there. Had a 10 right there. I think if we go back to the one month, we also see a 11.5 there. See a 13 there and an 11.5 there. I mean, we are going back a fair, fair bit to uh, to get to that price. So I'm going to try and go for 11.5. So, um... Picking up at 9, selling 11.5, reason 10.5, we make a nice 1.5 to 2 profit. And Roman Beasley, it's not the most uh, glorious card to end the episode off with. Picked up for €2.90, uh, going to go and sell on for about €4.50. Um, or at worst one's worst, €4.00, and we take another 1 to 1 €1.5 profit right there. So that is done for the day. In terms of trading, it's been pretty, pretty successful. I mean, during the day, we picked up 1, 2, 3, 4 deals. And then in the evening trading session, we took about to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Uh, on top of that, we also managed to get a almost instant flip on this guy. So that's 27 deals. Obviously, right now, I've got loads and loads of um, outstanding offers. Offers, sorry. So, you know, still got loads and loads of cards. You know, if people are going to go and accept offers overnight. Again, not going to go and cancel these just because they'll be, you know, outlasting over the night. We actually don't have much... You, I guess we don't have much, uh, I guess, cash to go and spend. And that's one of the best ways of doing it overnight, you know. Or one of the best things to have overnight. Don't have your cash sitting around. Try and get in, even if it's just slightly ridiculous offers. Just, you know, your best off getting a ridiculous offer than something, um, than just having your cash sitting there as such. So that's going to be it. Hopefully it's giving you guys an insight into what my day-to-day -day trading is like. I mean, I'll be honest, this was like a seven-hour trading session, which, which is a lot, lot longer. But obviously, I wasn't just non-stop trading we're just streaming uh, i do stream this in the evening i do stream this from about seven to about 10 in the evening or seven to you know 11 in the evening after my fifa streams uh, as i am absolutely addicted to trading on here so <laughs> any spare time i am uh, but thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video also there'll be another referral pack opening